Hello, this is your Zane Potty Day Man from YouTube.com. Here, man, rock culture from YouTube.com. Uh, tonight's subject is about Black Lives Matter. I support them. I understand what they stand for. Good. But I think they should have to do more background check on the people who protest in this movement because. They, this something real stupid. They uh, deface the graffiti gracefully. I don't, I think they, they didn't do the house, but they did the outside security wall or uh, wall that means they took the beauty wall or uh, something like that, security wall. And they um, spray painted uh, BLM, BLM on the wall, Black Lives Matter. And, to my understanding, why would you want to do something like that? Uh, look like every Presley always have been good toward black people. To my understanding, he bought uh, two Cadillacs for two black women during the 50 and 60 and for many other people. And um, I think he donated to a lot of charities over the years, uh, both black, white, all, all, all of that. But what do you think by doing all of this? Graffiti, defacing stuff. How do you think they're going to help the Black Lives Movement? To me, that would make it people turn against it. The name by itself, if it's if, 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 if at best. Uh, I do admit, most people who do support it are actually white people, but the younger, younger crowd. But I do not think that give them the right to spray paint any property, especially like Grace and Grace is the property of freedom of speech, freedom, a part of the right movement, and stuff like that. So I mean, uh, besides they being mad about Elvis being the king of rock and roll, which I think he is the king of rock and roll, and some people say he's not, some people say you're the rich, some people say he's very, some people say he's fat, dominoes. But either way you go, uh, in my heart, it's Elvis. But what good or what can you achieve by uh, defacing or graffiti Graceland? I mean, you have people, yes, they're right, Democrat who for Elvis will say, no, I, I don't want to vote. I won't vote for, you know, the other guy, but I won't vote for the guy y'all want. Or I will start supporting your movement because getting out of hand. Uh, lots of movies that start off good turn bad. I know I've done a video about this before. The KKK was actually a good thing when it started off, then turned bad. Uh, the skinhead, I think that was actually a good thing. I, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, you heard, you heard me, skinhead. Uh, I think they still got another uh, skinhead group called Sharp. I gotta look at that. I think they still good. But they start off bad, I mean, good, and they and they turned bad. So, I uh, hope you can hear me over the music. All the things after, after this wrong, but my opinion, what you actually gain by defacing any of this makes up anybody's property. Understand you might attack a Confederate statue, Nazi statue, something like that, right? But what next? Um, Mount Rushmore, which does not good about that, looks bad about that. But my next video, I'm going to do. Um, a video about Mount Rushmore versus Stone Mountain uh, Memorial. Is they gonna go? Which one should go before either one? You know, I'm just saying. You think about any moment that any flag throughout history got a bad meaning to it. If you black, the Confederate flag is a is a bad meaning. If you and then American the American flag is actually a bad meaning. So what can you do? So I uh, just leave you a comment, please like and subscribe and I just want to give you views about Black Lives Matter graffiti gracefully.